happy Friday. Right, so this week you might have noticed all week we have been practicing in lots of different ways the A sound, the E sound, the I sound and the O sound. Four of our new six sounds that we have learnt together whilst you have been learning at home. Well, I've found some fantastic wizards who are going to show you and read with you some words with these sounds in. And then they have their own very special caption that they use to help remember these sounds. So you might want to use these as well. So we're going to listen to those, listen to the caption, and then we'll write it together. And then you can pause the video and then you can have a go at writing this caption for yourself. So you can have a go with me and then have a try yourself. So no sneaky peeking, we'll do it together first and then let's see if you can remember the words and the sounds that you need to use. Okay, so our first wizard is going to help us with the E sound. Are you ready to watch what's behind me on the board? Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, so the wizards said a caption at the end using the A sound and they said it lots of times that it became real. It happened. Their magic powers made it happen. Can you remember what their sentence was? So have a little think while I pull the board over and there we can see the A sound and think about what's happening in the picture and we'll write have a look at writing this caption together. So it was, are you ready? Rain on the train. Rain on the train. Let's say it again so we don't forget our sentence. Rain on the train. Are we ready? So rain, what can we hear at the beginning of rain, rain, rrr is our first sound. Well, if I am writing a sentence, I will need the capital R, which is the name for R, which is R. So R is its sound, but R is its name. So we'll have capital R, and then we need the A sound. What does the A sound look like again? What two letters do we need? That's right, the A and an I to make the A sound. And then what are we missing on the end? Rain, rain, N, the N sound. I can hear the N sound on the end. Right, think about their sentence. It was rain, then what came next? On, but before we can do that, what will I need to use? A finger space. So it's rain, on, on, on. And then, what comes next? Rain on the, the. Oh, that is one of our tricky words. So I've just got to remember what letters I need to use to make the. So we've got rain, on, the, train train what sound can we hear at the beginning t -t -t. well done so i need my finger space before i can write this word train t -r, t -r -a -n. train well I'll just pull the board back so you can see the end sounds rain on the train can you remember what we talked about before christmas 
what we put at the very end of a sentence can you remember? Pop. I'll give you a clue. Pop. It's a full stop. A full stop and we just press it down, get our pen and we get a nice little dot. Rain on the train. So you could now pause the video and have a little go at writing this sentence in your book. You might even want to draw a nice picture of the trains with the wizards in the back and the rain on the train. And then underneath, you might see if you can remember any of their A words that they went through. Okay? And next, we'll have a little look at the E sound. So the wizards are now going to help us with the E sound. Are we ready? Let's see what words they come up with and let's see what caption, what sentence they might use. Are you ready? Here we go. Right, have you got that magic sentence in your head from the wizards? What did they say? They said it so many times that she did turn into a queen bee. What was the sentence? The queen bee. The queen bee. Three words for this sentence. So I've been getting the picture ready while you were watching that. So our sentence is the queen bee. The is one of our tricky words and if you, you might remember because in the other sentence we did use the. But if it's at the beginning of the sentence we need its capital. So we know that the starts with t. But we need its capital which is its name. What's the name of it? T. T. T, so we need its capital, so we do a straight line down and give it a little hat. Then we know we have a H and an E to finish the tricky word the. The, and the next word was queen. The, queen, B, queen. Oh, is that another one of our two letters one sounds where we do this action? Yeah, it's the qu sound, so we need a finger space. And Q is made with a Q and a U. Q. I'm going to underline it like this because I know that's a two letters one sound. Q. And then what can we hear next? Queen. Queen. We can hear the E sound. So we'll bring down the E. Or we'll underline that as well because we know that's a two letter one sound. And then what can we hear on the end? It says queen, queen, but we wanted to say queen. Well done, we're missing the mmm sound on the end. The queen B B. So we need a finger space, we can hear B at the beginning, and then we need our two letters, one sound, E, our stretched smiley sound, and I'm going to underline that one as well because we know that's a two letters one sound. And then, are we finished our sentence, boys and girls? Are we finished? Are we missing anything right at the very end? That's very small. Yes, our full stop, so we'll give it a nice full stop. See if you can say that sentence a few times in your head, and then have a little go, pause the video now, and have a little go at writing the Queen Bee. But before you do, you might want to draw the fabulous Queen Bee. 
She's wearing a lovely crown and some fabulous jewels. So you could draw a little picture first before you write the sentence in your books. Right, we are moving on to the next sound. And the next one that the wizard's going to help us with is our three letters, one sound. And that is I, I. We say fly high, but let's see what the wizard says with the I sound. Let's see what he likes to use to help him remember. And let's see what I words he might come up with. Are we ready? Boys and girls, what was their caption? What was the wizard's caption? You can be having a little think while I bring the picture over to go with our next sentence together. So it's the I sound, it got her. And what did the wizard say? What were they saying? Well done, that's right. Light in the night. So we need four words for this next sentence. Light in the night. Well, to start of our sentence, we need a capital letter to start it. The first word was light, light. Ool is its sound. What's the name of the letter? What do we say its name is? And we go, what's its name? What's its sound? Its sound is O, its name is L, that's right. And we do an L just like this. If you're not managing with your capitals and forming those yet, don't worry. We're just having a look at the names together. I don't mind if you do the sound O, the lowercase O. Then what comes next in the word light? O, I, T. Yes, we need to bring down our I sound. I, O, I, T. Light. Light. Where was the light? The light was in the night. So the next word is in. We can Fred talk in. We need a finger space first. In, in, in. In, and there's that tricky word that's been in every sentence so far, the, the. But hopefully we remember that one now, the. What three letters we need for the. Light in the. And our last word had our three letters, one sound in it. And that was night, the light in the night. So I need another finger space and we can hear n, i, t, n, i, t. And then, am I missing anything right at the end of my sentence, boys and girls? That tiny little full stop dot, just like that. We don't need to colour it in like that and make it really big like a football. Oh no, we don't need that. We just use our pencil and then do a little dab, do a little dot, just like that. Oh, so now it's your turn. I've had my turn. It's your turn to have a little go, pause the video and see if you can write the caption, Light in the Night. You might even see if you can draw the wizards with the light shining on them in the night. It looks like they are using torches 
and the torches are shining the light. Okay? Right. I'm moving on to the next one now. Our next sound that we're going to do, our last one, is... Can you work it out which one we haven't done yet? We've done E, I, and the next one is... Oh, well done. Oh, oh. We say goat in a boat. I wonder what the wizards might say and what all words they might know. I wonder. I wonder if we might be the same as the wizard. We might use the same. We'll have to watch and see and find out. Are we ready? Here we go. boys and girls okay so what was the wizard sentence what was the wizard sentence what did they say for the O sound to help them it was very similar to ours except they say goat on a boat and we say goat in a boat but since we are using the wizards to help us, we will try this. Ready? So goat, we need the capital sound at the beginning. The capital letter, if we can, don't worry if you're not sure about those just yet. But the sound would be G and its name is G. G. So G is a bit like a large curly cut. Cur and then we draw a line down and give it a little hat on the top. But if you just want to put G like that, that's okay. That's still fantastic. Right, we've had goat. What can we hear next? G oat. Yep, we need our O sound. G o t. Goat. Goat. And then what did they say instead? Yeah, on the boat, goat on a boat, on. So we need a finger space, on, 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 goat, on. What comes next? Goat on, ah, well done, ah. Goat on, ah, boat, boat, the boat. Yeah, we need our b, finger space, b. O, B, O, and T. And then make sure I don't forget my magic full stop, which means we've come to the end of our sentence. And our sentence shows goat on a boat. Right, so that was my turn. Now it's your turn to have a little go at writing goat on a boat. But before you do that, you might draw me a fantastic picture of a goat on a boat. These pictures are going to look lovely in your book with matching sentences to go with them. I'm excited to see them all when you return back to school. So that'll be lovely. I can't wait to see. You might even want to send me some pictures in of your lovely work. That would be nice as well. Well done for your hard work to get today. Give yourself a big clap. Really well done. We've really worked hard with the A, E, I and O sound. On Monday, we are going to go and have another look at the O sound and the R sound again. So we've done lots of ways with the A, E, I, O. I think it's time that we have another look at the O and the R sound and we'll do lots of activities with those sounds. How exciting does that sound? 
brilliant. So I'll see you again for another phonics lesson on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Enjoy. Bye from Mrs. Reed. Or should I say, the witch? Or did you think it was a wizard's hat? I'm not too sure. I'll let you decide.